welcome back to the channel it is that time finally it's been about six months maybe more maybe less i'm not sure since i've been to whole foods that's right we are doing a shop with me and haul at one of my favorite stores to shop one of my favorite supermarkets to shop whole foods it is kind of expensive i have to watch my budget here because it's very easy to blow three four hundred dollars on one shopping cart full of stuff uh, but they have amazing things here and it's healthy and the fruit and vegetables are unmatched so i'm excited to shop a little bit with penny girl say hi penny's with me today um so let's go inside whole foods let's shop around and of course at the end of the video i will show you guys my grocery haul let's see what guys i'm so excited for this video all right, there it is. We're going in. Yes. All right, I love walking in here. You can definitely smell the flowers once you walk in. They have tons of beautiful orchids here. These are called five inch orchids. They're $19.99 each and they have some beautiful colors, right, Penny? These are beautiful. Okay, starting with the fruits and veggies, we are going to grab um, some strawberries here. Oh my gosh, they have the white ones. These are so amazing. They're like white and pink. Um, they're $7.99 and then they have the sweetest spot strawberries. These are very expensive. They're $7.99, but I bet you they are amazing because they are part of that sweetest batch. These are more our speed here. We're going to grab the box of the double raspberries for $6.99. Costco definitely has a better price on these, but we're already here, so we'll grab these. I love their variety of fruits and veggies. Like, you don't really see these everywhere, right? Very berries, and you get like a combo pack here. So you're getting raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries all in the same pack. It is pretty expensive. It's $7.99 for the box. Um, but if you just want a little bit of all three, there you go. Also noting here, they do have some long stem strawberries. So if you like to do the chocolate dip strawberries, they have those for you here. These are called pear berry, and it's a fusion of flavors. So you're getting pear and strawberry in there mixed in one. Notes of pear and tart apple. So these retail for $5.99 and I'm actually curious to see how these taste. They do have a section here by the fruits and veggies that has um, cold brews and coconut water. I will say the coconut water here is insane. $9.99. That's very expensive for a bottle. This is what I'm saying where like you can really really blow your budget here but I mean it's healthy stuff it's good stuff and it's organic so what do you you know what can you do? Oh this is a newer chameleon. I don't think I've seen this flavor. This is a limited edition super concentrate cinnamon vanilla coffee. Wow that it looks so so good uh, retail on that one is eleven dollars and sixty nine cents they have a wide variety of cold pressed juices here eight dollars each one you got cucumber kale celery cucumber pineapple turmeric orange carrot ginger root celery cucumber lemon cabbage pear pineapple i mean that all sounds fantastic but at eight dollars a pop i think we'll skip those well interesting so my son loves honeycrisp apples that's like his favorite and they have a honeycrisp apple cider and that one retails for a dollar 99 if you need pre-cut veggies and salt and pico de gallo and pineapple mango salsa they have all of that here ready um, I like to get stuff that's pre-cut if it's at the right price if not I'd rather just honestly chop it up myself I did just get a new chopper so um, we'll see how that goes is that incredibly expensive $5.99 for a pound of dragon fruit Ay, ay, ay. They have some really nice flavors here of um, Italian sodas. Um, they have pink grapefruit, wild berry. That one looks super delicious. This one here caught my attention. Orange hibiscus. And here they have a sweet tangerine. And then here they have a tangy lemon. They always have such a wide variety here of mushrooms. This is usually where I get my holiday mushrooms. Um, here they have a chef's mix. Oh, that looks pretty interesting. They also have white beach, brown beach, king. I don't even know what that says. Um, they do have some funky looking trumpet ones. Very, very cool. I'd like to try all of them. I actually am a fan of mushrooms. Here they have a chef's mix, which has about four different varieties of mushrooms there. And then moving on to the dips, this is kind of my favorite section. Ooh, this is new. So Seder is making a feta dip. I don't think we've tried that one. That looks super delicious. If you are a fan of kava, they do have the um, dips here. They have a roasted eggplant and then they have a harissa. These are on sale for $4.89. This one was originally $5.79. This one's $6. 69 that's pretty expensive all right one of the reasons i came here was for the dill pickle hummus and they don't even have it they do not have it so i'm kind of upset about that because that's kind of what i came here for they have a lemon dill everything bagel lemon beet and lemon garlic but i honestly was just looking for the dill pickle so i guess we'll skip that if you are missing out on dips because you have just recently become plant-based or vegan, um, BioLife is now making some dips here. So you have a French onion, a spinach artichoke, and a tzatziki cucumber dill. Um, and these go anywhere from $5.29 to $5.79 love this section here. It's Penny's like eyeing everything. Oh my gosh, this looks so delicious right here. It's like a piece of vanilla cake with sprinkles vanilla that retails for $3.99. Look at this right here. It's an apple tart. Delicious. 
This right here almost looks like a creme brulee in a shell. That looks amazing. Then here they have a variety of vegan and non-vegan cupcakes. These are all by Rubicon. We've had these before, they're very delicious. This one here is filled with vanilla cream. This one here is filled with cream cheese icing. This one is vanilla cream with chocolate. They have a red velvet with cream cheese. This one is our personal favorite right here, confetti birthday with rainbow confetti cake. Yummy, yummy, yummy. What are these down here? These are by Sweetcraft, Dulceria. They're tiramisu, cheesecake, mousse, and panna cotta, and they're kind of creamy. That looks delicious. These all retail for $3.99. These cakes are fantastic. These are actually by Abe's. We've had their muffins before. They're pricey, $22 for one small cake, but I mean, there's no nuts, no peanuts, no eggs, no soy, completely vegan, nut-free. So if you're looking for a vegan option, these are fantastic. They have vanilla and carrot cake, and they also have a chocolate frosted. These little guys are so cute too. These are $8.99. They have a birthday um, layer cake, and then they have a double chocolate. They are on the small side. Um, oh my gosh, everything here looks so delicious. Look at these. These are like spreads. This is a Kalamata olive spread. Here you have red pepper and feta. You also have artichoke. You have roasted eggplant. Everything looks so so good here you have marinated sheep and goat cheese that's very interesting these retail for $12.99 my favorite section here are the dressings I always get so many amazing dressings the whole foods dressings are really really good these vegan ones these are actually really really amazing I've been buying them for years the only thing is they are very high in calories so trade-off right like you want vegan or do you want low calorie I feel like that's always the trade-off when it comes to light dressing um, my particular favorite is the Caesar and the honey mustard they're both very very good all right, just so you can get a glimpse at all the yogurt they have here, they have such good organic dairy-free options here at Whole Foods, probably the best you can find. Um, like the Siggies, right? They have the plant-based coconut blend here. Kulina, I don't think I've ever heard of that brand before. Kite Hill, my husband loves those. We've had those before. They even have the 365 um, non-dairy yogurts there. They have these here, Harmless at Harmless Harvest is the same as the coconut water brand. Um, so they have all sorts of flavors, probably derivative of coconut milk. Then they have some guys here that come in those glass containers, Cocoya. So there you have a pure, you have a peach nectarine, vanilla seems to be popular, and a piña colada. Ooh, that looks good. $7.69 for one though. Like your one yogurt is $7.69. These yogurts I actually like, Nono's, I think that's how you pronounce it. I've never seen strawberry rose. I think I might grab that one, um, but I've had the passion fruit and I've had the vanilla bean and all very good. All right, the vegan mayo. I was actually looking for the just mayo. They don't have it, so I might just get the follow your heart. All right, BioLife is one of our favorite vegan cheeses. Well, my husband more so, um, he loves these. So I'm gonna get him a block of this, even though it's 6.29, super expensive. It is really good and he always likes an alternative to regular dairy. My Yoko's, in my opinion, this is the best plant-based butter that you can find. Um, Violife is actually making a stick butter now, um, but my Yoko's, I've actually never seen it in the tub. I've only ever seen it like this. Um, so interesting to see that they're making it like this now. Did you guys know there is now a plant-based Baby Bell original flavor? That is pretty nifty. Whole Foods has tons of beauty supplies and self-care and body wash and soaps and shampoo. And oh my gosh, look at this right here. What is this? Hand in hand bar soap, cactus blossom. That looks like it smells out of this world. I'm so excited to see that here. And it's also on sale for $4.49. They also do carry tons of name brand stuff, obviously like the Dr. Bronner's, Alba, but then they also have the 365 brand um, in some fantastic scents. We have used this stuff before and we love it. Um, highly recommend it, especially if you want cleaner ingredients. Oh, check out these little bar soaps here. $11.99 for one. I mean, it smells good. Oh, was this a shampoo? I don't know, it's very expensive for one though. Oh my goodness, they have the most adorable little Easter section set up. They have some great Easter basket ideas here with some books and some little plushies. Look at this bunny rabbit here, so cute. They have some very cute books. Then this is a DIY egg painting kit. That one retails for $35.99. They have some great Easter books here. That one, Laugh Out Loud Easter Jokes. They have the Great Egg Escape. They even have a Disney one here, Thumper's Furry Friends. They also have some eco eggs here. So I'm assuming it's made from 100% recycled materials and um, you can feel good about those. They also have eco grass here. So if you're looking to stuff those Easter baskets with some environmentally friendly items, there you go. Penny found the puzzles and the toy section. This is like her element. She loves this stuff. Oh, look at this. Melissa and Doug bag of bugs, 1029. Pretty pricey. I bet I can find it cheaper on Amazon, but it's pretty cool that they have that. 
Then they have some take-along toys. These are great for baby strollers. Cake and cookie play set. Oh, play to go. These are $10.29. They have a yellow one and they have a blue one. The blue one is ice cream and this one looks to be like cake and cookies. They have a little gardener set here. If you're into gardening with your kiddo, we are approaching that season. They have a few different prints and colors. Oh, this brand. I like this brand. These are the tortilla chips that we typically get. Well, we get the plain ones. These are Zach's. I've never seen the roll tortilla with the nacho flavor. So here you have fiery nacho and then here you have a chili lime flavor. I'm actually kind of interested to see how those taste. All right, so we love the animal crackers here. So we're gonna go ahead and grab two bags of these because they're very hard to find. They are the organic vanilla animal crackers. Cookie aisle is always so overwhelming here. They do have a very, very good variety of, you know, gluten-free, vegan, um, healthy ingredients, no artificial colors and sweeteners and all that good stuff. So if you're looking for healthy, you know, alternatives for sweets, definitely come here. They have everything that will be right up your alley. Okay, stop it right now, Crocodile Creek. We actually have a few puzzles from this brand and they're making little hats. They're so cute for gardening. And then they have the pink one with the butterflies there. And then they also have a blue one with uh, like construction vehicles. There's Penny trying one on, so cute. You guys have seen this brand before, Sweet Lauren's. They actually um, sell these at Target, at least the raw cookie dough one. They have some breakfast biscuits now. Here's the blueberry flavor, chocolate, and cinnamon sugar. Not gonna lie, I used to buy these all the time when I lived on Union Square in Manhattan, and they are amazing. They are vegan brownies, very high in calories, but oh my God, are they good. Very intrigued, we love everything cookie dough, but this is $11.29 for a very small jar. We'll say it does look very good. This is chocolate chip, and then here you have a birthday cake batter. Always overwhelming, the granola bars and the protein bars. There's so many, oh my gosh, the Misfits. Okay, these are really good. I think they're actually um, less expensive at Trader Joe's, but we're not at Trader Joe's today. We're um, at Whole Foods, so I might grab a couple of these for my husband. And the Cliff Bars, this is the flavor my husband is always looking for. It is the peanut butter banana. These are actually very hard to find, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple of these. If you find it hard to find vegan jerky in your regular supermarket, come to Whole Foods, because they have every flavor. Here they have the Louisville vegan jerky, and the maple bacon even have a general so's flavor and they have a smoked black pepper perfect pepperoni and a buffalo dough i'm not kidding you guys they have tons of flavors for the vegan jerky come here if you need them the chocolate section this is where i always get in trouble because everything here is so good yet so expensive oh my gosh look at these double dipped almonds milk chocolate style and coconut <gasps> Oh, we might need to try these. Our favorite, Justin's brand. They're making dark chocolate peanut candy pieces. So these are gonna be like peanut M&Ms, but much healthier and obviously much more expensive, but they are organic. Uh, bag is $6.49. And I think they also have a smaller bag here if you just kind of want to do a sample of them. And these retail for $2.49. Tony's, what are you doing to me? Little Bites with graham cracker and fluffy marshmallow. These are on sale. I think we may need to add these to the cart. All right, listen, I'm all for the healthy stuff, but I tried some of these smart sweets and I almost broke my tooth on this peach ring the happy cola knockoff from haribo not good at all i didn't enjoy them and trust me i i always want to reduce sugar where possible but these uh smart sweets they just they just weren't for me oh these are new i don't think i've seen these before these are called mavericks cookies here you have a bolt cookie that is birthday cake flavored this one is plant-based they also have chocolate and then they have double trouble chocolate which we're gonna get in trouble with those but they look super good and they're actually only 4.49 for the box my husband's gonna kill me he's like please stop getting sweets but yeah we're gonna get this box here here is Penny in the chip aisle, popcorn aisle. They have an insane amount of stuff. This baseballs, oh my gosh, the interstellar cheddar. We wanted to like these so bad. And we actually got them at the five below and we didn't like them, they weren't very good. Hippies are always a winner for us, we love those. Annie's, ooh, cheesy cheddar smile, 629, very expensive, not buying those. I also like the fact that they have um, snack packs here, right, like they have the hippies, um, they also have the lesser evil, the interstellar cheddar that we don't like, but they do have a snack pack if your kiddo likes those. Yeah. They have Boulder Canyon, these are avocado oil chips. They have Boom Chicka Pop, but that is the kettle corn, not everybody likes it. They also have the Skinny Pop um, with the butter and then the plain one. These are the ones that we like, the Zach's um, tortilla chips. So I think, I think they changed the bag. They used to look different. So I'm gonna go ahead and try these ones. I hope that these are the ones. They also have them in a lime flavor, um, but I, I think I'm just gonna go with the sea salt because Max usually likes just regular salt. I didn't know that the Annie's crackers are now doing um, hidden veggies. And they do have two flavors, worth noting. They have a cheesy cheddar and then they have a sea salty. 365 brand has a few different types of cereal here. These are organic and gluten-free. They have a 
Marshmallow Galaxy, and these are $3.49, which is not bad for a box of cereal. So I might actually try these out for Penny and see if she likes them. They also have all the Enviro Kids cereals here. They have the Turtle Splash, Choco Chimps, Leap and Lemurs. Oh, Rhino Rolls, those look like cinnamon. And the all-time favorite Panda Puffs, all for $4.79. These cereals are called Off Limits. They are vegan, um, and they have a few different flavors here. They are $7.99 a box, but there is no artificial ingredients. You got cinnamon cereal, strawberry, and those right there have my heart, pancake, and marshmallow. If you're into the Dave's Killer Bread, Dave's is now making cereal bars or granola bars or whatever you want to call them. So here you have Trail Mix Crumble, you have Cocoa Brownie Blitz if you're into chocolate, and then this one here looks like it would be my favorite, Outrageous Honey Almond, all retail for $6.99 a box. All right, we are going to grab some coconut water. This is the least expensive one. Um, here, $3.99. Is the organic the same as the regular? Obviously, we're going to go with organic if it's the same price, right? Um, so let's grab a couple of these for some smoothies. Okay, another thing that's overwhelming here is the frozen section. They have tons of great stuff here. Um, blueberry waffles, yes please, by $3.65. Multigrain, you got organic, regular home style. They even have some buttermilk protein waffles, which is a great option. Here is the kiddo section, which Penny is always into. Anything Sesame Street, she's like, I want it, but we're not going to go for those because we don't need those. Those original pancake bites, though, those look delicious. So we're going to grab a few bags of these at $2.99 a pop. That's what they look like. I love these small bites. This is great if you're doing like a charcuterie board or if you're hosting. These are actually delicious. We've had them before. They are the Everything Pastry Wrapped Uncured Beef Franks. And these are actually newer. These are vegetarian butter chicken. So it's fake chicken, non-bites. That looks like it's gonna taste really, really good. And then these I'm always into. I love samosas. These are potato and pea with a nice sweet sauce for dipping. These are interesting macaroni and cheese bites. I know for a fact Penny doesn't like mac, mac and cheese bites because we ordered some at the Cheesecake Factory and she just was not into them uh, but they do have them here if you're interested in that oh wow did you guys know that kind is making frozen treats um, these are all plant-based you have chocolate cherry almond nut that looks amazing there's dark chocolate almond sea salt and then this one here peanut butter dark chocolate nut and then they even have a mint chocolate almond nut they all look so good $6.99 I think the one that I would get out of all of these definitely the chocolate cherry can't say that i've ever seen these pizza bites before these are by a brand called snow days um it's organic grain free this is the um uncured pepperoni which have the ninja turtles on there so very tempting to get them because they're nickelodeon ninja turtles however check out the price 7.99 i don't i don't think i can justify this many pizza bites for eight dollars so we're gonna skip those but i do love the packaging so a plus for that all right there's penelope there's the drink section it's always very overwhelming here they always have so many delicious things this one here caught my eye this is um zevia zero sugar tea and it's blood orange so that looks like it tastes super good i've always been a fan of peach tea so i'm sure that i would really like that here you have one called half day and that is a peach iced tea with three grams of sugar pretty good let's check out the calories 30 calories for the can that's actually not bad so you have a peach tea green tea and then a lemon iced tea Oh, so cute. They have a Barbie swoon soda. So it's Barbie pink lemonade, naturally Barbie. sweet, zero sugar. Penny's already into it. It's five calories. You want to get a, we'll get a can of this and share it, okay? Just because it says Barbie on it. We'll grab one, okay? Barbie. Yeah. Here they have a ton of sodas that they actually sell in cases. I like that they sell single ones here because A, if you're just grabbing lunch, but also if you want to try a flavor before you commit to a full pack. Like I love Spindrift and I love pineapple. I'm not sure if I would like this one per se, so I can just buy one, try it, and if I like it, I can go ahead and buy the case. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I might actually pick this up because I do love pineapple. They always have an insane amount of kombucha here at Whole Foods. Obviously, it's kind of like a health food store, right, in a way. So, um, of course, they're going to have have the best options even 365 now is um putting out their own kombucha you got pineapple mango peach passion fruit guava hibiscus wow that one sounds amazing have some kombuchas that come in the can these are by wild wonder there's peach ginger guava rose that looks amazing mango gold here's a bear's fruit kombucha also in a can you got blueberry lavender pineapple mint strawberry jalapeno interesting and ginger lemon rosemary 
for the Health Aid Kombucha. This is the first time I'm seeing mint limeade. That looks super good. I'm not sure if my husband would like the mint, but it does look super good. Olipop. Oh my gosh, we love these so much. I usually get them when they're on sale. Tropical Punch is so hard to find, so I'm gonna have to just pay full price for this one. Winter edition, but it can go with Valentine's Day. This is by GT Synergy Raw Kombucha, and this one is called Pure Love. It's blood orange, hibiscus, and rose. Oh my gosh, that looks so delicious, two for six. Maybe I'll grab one of these. All right, friends, we are done at Whole Foods. All in all, uh, too expensive. I don't think I will make it a point to come here for regular groceries. Um, Whole Foods has become a place where it's literally just for holiday shopping. Like when I wanna get primetime steak and primetime shrimp and all the good stuff. Like I love the organic stuff, I love the options, but I'm spending so much money on not even a full bag of groceries. And I know that you can stick to the 365 brand, but let's be honest, if we're gonna go generic, we might as well stick to our local supermarkets, right? But we are gonna go back to my place and I'll show you guys a haul of everything we picked up today. I hope you guys had some fun shopping. All right, friends, we are back at my place. I do have a Whole Foods haul for you. However, it is literally the smallest Whole Foods haul that I have ever purchased um, at that store. I, I will say the prices are getting kind of crazy and a lot of things I would just prefer to to get them at my local supermarket as much as I love Whole Foods it's getting hard to shop there but that being said let's just jump into it I'm gonna actually show you my haul like while I hold it instead of kind of doing the holding the camera and showing you because there's really not that much stuff I mean there's a good amount of stuff it's just not that much um, I probably spent um, almost $130 it was like 120 something um, so let's jump into it some items were on sale um, and then when I scanned the Amazon Prime um, app the Whole Foods Amazon Prime I got a little bit more of a deal so some stuff was a good price. I did get the hippies because they were on sale. They had a dollar off and they were, with the dollar off, they came to the same price as they were at my local supermarket, which is kind of crazy to me. I picked up the Rubicon cupcakes, uh, the vanilla ones. I almost didn't get them because they were, I think, $7, but my daughter was so into them and it's the weekend and I promised her, yes, we can have cupcakes tonight. So I did pick these up. I've had these many times before and they are super delicious. So are they worth it? Yes. At my local market, I can get a four pack of cupcakes for about $4. So you weigh the options, right? I did get a couple of frozen items. I did get the everything pastry wrapped uncured beef franks. These are delicious, fantastic appetizers. If you're doing um, appetizers or like a charcuterie board, these are fantastic for presentation. Then I also got the vegetable egg rolls. We've actually had these before and we really enjoy them. This was about $5.99, which is super expensive. I can get egg rolls at ShopRite for $4. Another frozen item, I got the uh, vegetable pot stickers. These are also by the 365 brand. These were about four bucks. I did pick up two of the coconut waters. We love the 365 coconut water. The organic and the regular were the same price, which kind of baffled me because usually organic's a little bit more expensive, but whatever. I went with the organic since we're spending $3.99 regardless. So I got two of those. A couple more frozen items. Um, I love the Amy's burritos. They're cheaper at my supermarket. When I went to the check out I couldn't believe they were like almost four dollars so I again I got them anyway because I was already at the checkout but again something I could just buy at my local market we love these this is something that I will always get when I go to Whole Foods it's kind of a staple these are the 365 organic vanilla animal crackers penny cereal she wanted to try the marshmallow galaxy this is also 365 and it's organic cereal so we went ahead and tried it this was three dollars and change which obviously is way cheaper than any Kellogg's or General Mills unless it's on sale so we figured we'd try it the birthday cake sandwich creams this is the one thing I don't regret getting they look so delicious and they have little sprinkles and confetti in the middle in the cream um, so this is also by the 365 brand and I'm excited to try this flavor this was a penny pick um, Annie's I can get cheaper at my local market as well I get a box for about four something and this was five and change um, this is kind of like a healthier cheese it um, they're called organic cheddar squares now cheesier taste we love the Annie's brand sometimes you can pick this up at Costco I think Costco has a few varieties of Annie's um, oh they also have the cinnamon rolls which are super delicious so um, my kids love these and penny picked this so we got it one of Max's favorite tortilla chips. Um, he likes the tortillas, which are fantastic, the cantina style. He likes the ones from Trader Joe's and he loves these. They did change the packaging. It's a little different now. The old packaging, I think, was transparent or see-through. Uh, but these are Zach's Mighty Organic Tortilla Chips and they have a sea salt flavor and they have a lime flavor. I did get some protein bars for my husband. As I mentioned in the store, the peanut butter banana Cliff Bars are very, very hard to find. So I got three of those. This is um, also Cliff. It's called Nut Butter Bar. So I got two of these. This is chocolate and peanut butter, seven grams of protein. I couldn't leave these behind and they were on sale. The Tony's Chocoloni Little Bits. That's fluffy marshmallow graham cracker. So it's like a s'more chocolate bite. And then the Choc Zero. These are double dipped almonds. Oh my God, so good. It has chocolate and the almond and coconut. So this is gonna be super delicious. Got a bunch of bananas for fruit. 
Also got the two pack of the raspberries. I thought these were still a decent price, even though Costco has the berries at a better price. Picked up a package of blueberries for some overnight oats. I got the lolly berries. Here it says better than chocolate. Mm, I doubt that, but it says candy sweet with a fragrant aroma. So I'm excited to try these. They were a little bit expensive, but I like these hybrid uh, strawberries because I feel like it gives it such a nice different flavor. And then I just got a regular pack of strawberries. Also should have gotten these at my local market, but I digress. The no nos, I don't even know how to pronounce this. The yogurts, they were two for four. So I did pick up two of these because I do really enjoy these. I got the coconut mango and then I picked up the strawberry rose. Never, I've never seen this flavor before. So I'm very intrigued in trying it. These are called puffy original pancake bites. And I figured for pennies, like every once in a while breakfast, um, we'll get these. They were $2.99. So I thought that was a good deal for, you know, pancakes, um, especially something I can store in the freezer. They are the 365 brand. Um, so we got two bags of these. I picked up a sweet potato because they were on sale and I kind of want to make roasted sweet potato. I've been craving that. And I actually like to bake sweet potatoes and um, put them on avocado, like mashed avocado. Oh yeah, one more protein bar. I did get the Misfits bars. I think they are now carrying these at Trader Joe's and they might be um, less expensive there. Up uh, and my husband said that he really, really enjoyed these. So I picked one of these up for his work bag. Rounding out the Whole Foods haul with some drinks, uh, Barbie Swoon. We had to get this. Penny and I are going to share this tonight. We're going to watch a movie and drink some Barbie Swoon. Spoon. Then I also got the Olipop because I love this flavor. Um, it's the Tropical Punch. Sometimes Target will have this flavor, but not all the time. So it's very hard to find. So I figured I would grab one of these even if it wasn't on sale. And then I'm very intrigued on the Spindrift Pineapple. I love pineapple seltzer or juice or anything of that nature. So I kind of want to try it. So I got one single one and if I love it, I'll get the, um, the 12 pack or the 10 pack or however they sell them. And rounding out the entire haul with the kombuchas. I, um, I've never seen Tangerine Dream. Uh, so I picked that up. And then I also got the Pure Love one because the flavor profile, blood orange hibiscus rose looks so delicious my husband loves kombucha and these are two newer flavors and these were actually on sale um, so we got a good deal on them all right friends thank you so much for shopping at whole foods again i don't want to knock whole foods because i love that place i feel like they have fantastic items um very good quality food and i love going there for holiday right like i get the fancy shrimp and the steak and the gourmet chicken and their, you know, their buffet is always fantastic and their olive bar and their cheeses. But for regular groceries, I think we're gonna stick to Trader Joe's or our local supermarket because that's where we're gonna get more bang for our buck. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed shopping. I hope you enjoyed the items. Maybe you got some inspiration on some new things to try. And if you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, like this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.